what's going on world? It's your nutrition and wellness guy, me, Chef D. And today, this is a fun one. We're doing wings, so it's the party wing series. However, we're giving it a little bite and a kiss on the cheek. So we're gonna do a henny and honey buffalo wing. Now, this is where it gets, not complex. This is where it gets interesting because the date night was really between the henny and the honey. However, Buffalo here wants to come in and crash the party, which is fine. We're gonna make it work. However, before I can introduce the true stars of this episode, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Like this video, I appreciate it. But more importantly than those two things, share this with somebody in your life who you truly care about when it comes to their nutrition and wellness journey. Let's get into it. All right, so for the start in the lineup, we have our party wings. And as you know, there's always gonna be a battle. Flat versus drums, y'all know. If you've been watching my episodes, you know which one I'm, I'm team drums. We have some Chef D blend, can't do wings without that. Some sea salt, some parsley flakes. We're gonna switch it up a little bit. We, we have some uh, unbleached wheat flour. We have some fresh chopped garlic, some hot sauce. You can use your favorite brand. We have some honey. We have some real butter today. Ooh, chili powder. This might be the MVP because even though y'all know I'm not a big spicy, spicy kind of guy like that, this component is gonna wake everybody up. All oh, y'all gotta wake up. We have olive oil and the thing that's gonna bite back some henny. Let's do it. All right, let's go. So we got our mixing bowl. Here is our olive oil. Uh, this is what we're gonna mix all of our ingredients in before we add the chicken. We wanna make sure that they got to know each other first, and then we add our chicken in there. That was our chili powder. We're gonna whisk this up just a little bit. It smells really good. It smells smoky. You can smell some of that spice. All right, nice whisk. Get the oil incorporated, and then, now nah, we're not gonna dump it. We'll just, we'll place it in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Ah, oh, cool, a whole dozen. All right, so you know, I like to mix it with my hands. Let's mix, mix, mix. Get it fully incorporated. You know, you're massaging the outer uh, membrane of the chicken. You're making sure that you're grinding it to the skin, under the skin. Uh, it's a full mix. Now, if you have the time, go ahead and let it marinate for a little bit, maybe 30 minutes to four hours. If not, that's fine. This is such a, a, a powerhouse of ingredients uh, that you'll be fine. Now, we're adding flour. We don't always add flour, but when we want a, a crisp, when we want some texture to it, we add some flour. And that's it. We'll do it in threes. All right, mix that up a little bit. This smells so amazing. All right, a little bit more. All right, get the air fryer basket. I bet we're gonna spray it at the bottom. You guys know that lately I've been using a non-stick oil spray. And now we're gonna load up our air fryer. This looks great. Now, what's the number one rule? We do not stack. We can squeeze them in there. They could be nice and tight and close, but we will not stack these. That will rob us of our texture. That will rob us of the crispiness. Uh, and it will not get a full cook all the way around. And this last one in here, let's get into the air fryer. Great, so we're gonna pop these bad boys in here and let's go for, I think 30, yeah, let's do 30 minutes. 30 minutes and we'll turn the temp down 380, there we go. All right, while those are cooking, let's get our sauce going. All right, we got our henny, we took a flame, and poof, <laughs> watch your eyebrows. All right, we're just gonna cook the uh, alcohol off. All right, we got a nice fire going in there. Awesome, yeah, henny has a lot of alcohol. All right, once that fire comes down or stops all together, we're gonna add some honey now. Look at me, I know better. I'm trying to use the whisk. Uh, yeah, it's not gonna work. Let me grab my spatula. Again, use the right tool for the right job. Awesome. 
All right, now we have some chopped garlic. All right. It's coming back to a boil. We'll that around just a little bit. We're gonna add our hot sauce. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Oh, yep, grab the spatula. <laughs> there we go. All right, it smells so amazing. It's gonna come back up to a boil again. All right, last but not least, let's add our butter. Just gonna get that in there. And this is a great fat. I mean, it, it smooths out the, for one, the butter smooths out the spicy level. Uh, and it also adds a thickening agent to this particular sauce. All right, we're gonna make sure all that butter is melted nicely. There we go, we're cooking, we're still cooking off the liquid. Cause we want this to get a little thicker. It smells so good. All right, there we go. Nice boil. So in total, we cook this for about five to eight minutes on a medium heat. So even though it is boiling, it's not on a, it's not a high heat. You don't want it on a high heat because you'll end up breaking your sauce. So even while it's bubbling, it's great, but we want to reduce it. All right, we're gonna go to our wings. We are at the halfway mark, or a little past the halfway mark, about 13 minutes in, and we're gonna flip them on the other side. Don't those look beautiful? All right, finish those up. We're gonna pop them back in, and we're gonna let them cook. Now we're gonna raise the temperature to 400. And just like that, they are done. So we're gonna take these out, and they did a great job. They did not stick, uh, again, after you have your air fryer for quite some time and you're cleaning the bottom of it, uh, it does start to wear. Oh, look at that, that looks good. It starts to wear and you lose that non-stick ability, which is okay. That's why we use a olive oil non-stick spray. Oh, we got this little guy right here. All right, let's wiggle, wiggle back and forth, it's fine. And we got our wings out and now we're going to add the magic. Just half of that, a little bit more than half. All right, there we go. Because we'll use the rest to dip and we'll use the rest to garnish and then we're gonna add our parsley. And this is, again, not so much for flavor, it's for presentation, it's for color. Oh, this looks so good. And just gonna toss it around. You want each morsel <laughs> to touch this sauce. You want this sauce to hug every part of your wing. And just like that, we are done. Let's get this on a plate. And usually I cut this off early, but we're gonna plate this up all the way. And we mix it up. You got drums, you got flats. You guys know team drums, hashtag team drums. Uh, and I know that gets you, you, you team flats upset, but listen, it's a great combination because when we go out to eat, I get the drums, you got the flats. It's a win-win. If we both like the same thing, I mean, you know, how that works. Flat just gonna be sitting there. <laughs> All right, we got like two more. Let's focus, let's focus. One, and we got this last guy in here, and that's how you plate it. Grab a little of the sauce just to get on the top there. Oh, this smells so good. It looks amazing. And this is how you just build the plate. And we're gonna take a little bit of that. Let's grab our parsley. And boom, there you go, the chef -y way. Let's eat. Woo! Bring my own plate to the party. Uh, you guys got some leg in that shot. <laughs> All right, so another wing classic. Now, mind you, uh, someone asked me recently, like, where where do you get these these ideas from? And it's I don't even know. Sometimes, literally, I'll think of recipes or ingredients that contrast with each other. And uh, or I'll think of two different recipes and just want to put them together. Uh, so yeah, this is this is one of those. Now, mind you, I've never made this before, so this is my first time merging the two. I've made honey wings, and I've made henny wings, and I've made buffalo wings, but this is the first that I put them all together. So let's see, let's, let's do it. I mean, just cause y'all watching, I'll do a flat, cause I always do the the drum. Right, I'm gonna put two. I'm put, oh, oh, that feels good. Like there's a, a texture on there. Mind you, that's why we did the uh, the flour because when it came out of the air fryer, you saw 
it had a crisp on it and we do that so it can soak in some of the sauce uh, if it's not sometimes the sauce just runs off it has nowhere to absorb especially if you cook them well done so that's why we put that on there uh, see i got you i got you all right here we go smells amazing i smell garlic off the bat I can smell the pepper from the buffalo, but to all my Henny drinkers out there, uh, you could smell that rich barrel, uh, you know, that signature Henny smell. So let's see, let's, let's get into it. Mm, mm. <laughs> Yo. Oh my, all right, mm, still going. All right, <clears throat> okay, <laughs> here we go. All right, let me tell y'all what just happened. I took the first bite, and let me get some of this off my, actually, I need one more bite. Mm. That's amazing. So I took the first bite, and it was like a pleasant, salty, buttery taste. <laughs> then that henny hit a little bit, like that little henny bite. And then the buffalo just kicked the door open, like here I am too. But then it mellowed off, like the, the honey, it, everything just mellowed, it mellowed down. Um, that is really, this is good. Listen, cause I'm about to go to work. <laughs> you heard it here first, health is wealth. And I'm just here to make sure you're getting paid. Until next time, yum on. Oh, this is a winner. Y'all gonna thank me later, you'll see. Mm. Mm-hmm.